up everybody? Mr. Miola here, back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Back, chilling out outside of our big, enormous base right here. Um, the base has been getting a little bit of work. Check it out. Check this out. It's got like 50% of a ceiling right now. That's Lachlan and Vic, I'm pretty sure. The two of them, I'm pretty sure it was the two of them. I don't know, but they have been smashing this thing to bits. So, uh, I applaud you guys. I applaud you guys. You guys have been killing it. And, um, last night I hopped on for a bit. Just, uh, thought I'd little cruise around a bit, get little thumbnail screenshots and stuff. But, uh, I uh, got a bit carried away and ended up adding a second layer of walls to all of these bedrooms. And, um, yeah, it looks like a few people have started sort of claiming theirs. I threw some signs up on them so people can sort of, you know, I don't know, add a little name to their thing so they can, like, you know, call dibs on their little bedroom. Um, this one here, I think, is still empty. Or is it? Whose is this stuff? I don't actually know whose room this is. Um, but over here we have, I think, Lachlan's, which he's torn down a wall for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but he did it anyway. Um, and yeah, he's got a bit of chestage in there. I've gone and called this room here. This is La Casa del Miola, the house of Miola. And, uh, I've just got my little dung beetle in here. So he's in here. He's supposed to be wandering, but I don't know really. I don't know if he is. He's kind of just chilling there on his own, doing whatever. So I'll leave him to it. Um, actually, he did work. We had a, a load of poop on him, and he created a bunch of fertilizer from it. He makes so much fertilizer. It's really, really good. Um, and over here, last but not least, we have the Swag Shack of Vic. So Vic has moved in, and he's got a little fireplace set up. That's exactly what I wanted to do with mine. I wanted to get a nice fireplace get up, set up, a bit of moodiness in there. So uh, that's really cool to see. So today what I plan on doing is spending a little bit of time, again, working around the base. I want to get my little bedroom set up. That's the goal for today. Um, so I want to sort of deck out our little room here. I don't know, set it up, get it nice and fancy and stuff. And we'll see how we go, I suppose. I'm thinking like a fireplace. I'm, I'm thinking a bed. I'm thinking some storage, a chair, maybe some trophies or something. I don't know. I've never played with trophies, so that could be kind of cool to set up. But yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to let me know by punching that thumbs up. Make it raise those thumbs ups. It helps the series. It helps the channel. And it helps me keep these videos coming your way on a daily basis. So I think it's about time we get this show underway. Let's do this. Let's go and head out to our little... Oh, and check it out as well real quick. It looks like the guys went on a bit of a taming spree last night. And they've got themselves a new psycho called Crocky, mate. Crocky, mate. Yeah, good on them. <laughs> oh, I've actually never tamed a psycho. They're, they're pretty cool looking guys. So, what's running up over there? I can see like a parasaur. And it looked like he was running away from something, but he's all good. So... Let's have a little look through our little crafting thing and see what we can go ahead and craft that could be used in our bedroom. So going from the top and scrolling down, there isn't a whole lot yet. <laughs> um, I'm thinking we can get some like paintings and stuff going on. They'd be kind of cool. I don't really know how they work though, so we'll see how we go. Um, all right, so I'm looking for the... I want a... What do you call it? What do you call it? I want a thing. I said it earlier. Fireplace. I want a fireplace. Where's the fireplace at? I'm just going to type it in. Fireplace. Stone fireplace. Learn the fireplace. So have I learned the bed yet? I haven't even I haven't even learned the sleeping bag yet. All right, let's learn the sleeping bag. And let's learn the bed because I want a bed in my room. We should get a bunk bed. That's kind of cool. Acts as a respawn point for you and your tribe with half the cooldown time. Damn. It would leave more room for activities. Let's get a bunk bed. Let's get a bunk bed. What else do we want? Trophy mounts. I've never used them before, but I think they're cool. So let's make trophy mounts. What else? I think we've already unlocked the chair, haven't we? I think that's like most of the furniture that you can like get done. Um, yeah, I reckon that's just about all. I can't really think of much else that we would like need in there right now. So... I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's just about everything. Oh, a beer barrel. Oh, yeah. Let's get a beer barrel in there. We need a beer barrel. Beer barrel would be sick to have in your little base there. Um, and I reckon that's about it. So, I guess we've got to work out recipes now. So, let's go and have a look at what we can craft. Um, I think we want to go into misc. Not misc. Not misc. We want to go into structures. We want to go into furniture, maybe? Or cooking. Cooking? No. Furniture. Where's furniture? There. Wood. No. Where's the, uh, where's the fireplace? Or do you need to do it in... 
Here's a bunch. Oh, here it is. Okay, so 450 wood. Damn. Well, that's all good. We got all of that. Sweet. All right, so let's go and get some flint out of our smithy here. We should have 20 at least. There we go. Uh, all right, so that's the flint. And check it out, right? I've been freaking busy getting resources. We have all the stone we need for this. So that's 400, 450. We needed a bunch of woods. How much wood do we need? Check this out. This is a double chest full of wood. It's nearly full of wood. Unfortunately, it's a little bit lacking. It's like only a couple slots missing, but yeah. We still need a little bit more stone. What are you talking about? I swore we got all of it. All right, stop it. Craft the fireplace. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Looking good, looking good. And it looks like we need cementing paste if we plan on getting our trophy mounts. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got our fireplace. Let's go and get our bunk bed. I'm guessing you craft them in a smithy. And it looks like you actually need a little bit of metal for that. Uh, structures. I don't know what it's made from. Stone? No. What's a bed? Where's the bunk bed? Hold on. Bunk. Fabricator. Damn. All right. What's the recipe? I reckon it's going to be metal. I think it's going to be cementing paste. I think it's going to be hide and maybe some cloth. That's interesting. How heavy could this be? Beds. Uh, 80. What the hell, man? 80 polymer. 80 polymer. 200 pelts. Maybe 320 metal ingots. We're going to start off with a regular bed. We'll start off with a normal bed because we cannot afford that. That is so expensive. That's insane. Damn, who's charging these prices? Who's making these prices up? So we're going to need 40 hide, uh, which we should have most of in here. We don't have hide. We don't have hide. We do not have hide. Okay, well, we need thatch, fiber, and hide. Let's check out our own little smithy. What do we got? You know, we've got, we've got something in here. We've got to have something in here. We got, we got the hide. We got the hide. Fantastic, fantastic. We're just missing the thatch, which I just put back inside of the chest that we didn't think we were going to use. Okay, let's get ourselves a bed. It's on the way. It is on the way. And a trophy wall mount is 200. Well, for now, let's head to our little bedroom, drop our fireplace, drop our bed, and we'll start working out exactly where we're going to put stuff. So, we got our fireplace. We have our bed. So... I'm thinking the fireplace would go on the outside of the building. Uh, where are we going to put our bed? Which we're then going to replace with a bunk bed at some stage. I'm thinking the bed goes about here. Yeah, bed goes here. Bed goes here. Dunk beetle. You're going to have to come over here, buddy. You're going to have to come over here. These guys are so painfully slow. They are painfully slow. All right, so the bed is going to sit right up against the wall right there. There we go. It's nice in the middle of the room. We're going to have to put a ceiling on this so that we don't have sun shining in our face when we're trying to sleep. But oh well. We're going to get the fireplace now. Where does the fireplace sit? sit? Sit here? Or over here? I reckon it sits here. I reckon the fireplace sits up against this wall. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. I like it. I like it. You know what we need? We need like a little bit... If only you could get like a little rug in front of it. That would be awesome. Um, I guess we should get like a chair. How expensive are chairs? What do you need for a chair? Oh, we got we got what we need. Let's get a chair! Yeah, I reckon like a little chair in the corner of the room would be sick! Let's do that. Okay. So where does the chair go? The chair can sit like in the little corner. It could sit like facing the fireplace. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Um, um, that's a good question. The chair? Facing the fireplace? We can sit here and we can think about all the dinosaurs that we've murdered for our own good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's coming together. We're going to need a little bit of storage. That's what we're going to need. In fact, one thing I wouldn't mind in here is a table. I don't know if you've got room for one. We're going to need 12 metal. We could put a table like along here somewhere. But yeah, that will take up a fair bit of room. So I think what we do definitely need is some storage. So we get some, we get a bookcase. We'll get a bookshelf, maybe. Should we get a bookshelf? I don't know. Um, we'll definitely get some some crates, some storage though. What do you call them? Chest. It's not a chest. Storage. I guess I guess storage works. Uh, okay, it's a storage box. Fair enough. Let's craft three of them. So these are going to be basically to store things like our narcotics, 
Um, so, because we, we craft a fair bit of narcotics and, and you know, you don't want to go crafting like a whole bunch of narcotics and like arrows and stuff only for like everyone to come in and like steal them sort of thing. So, um, we'll go and keep all of our narcotics. We'll put our arrows. We'll keep things like, um, I don't even know, just other stuff in general, I guess. And I think we'll go and where should we put these? We can line these up against this wall, I think. So the way I'm going to place these is basically just like this. There we go. There's our three storage chest. We're going to put our stuff inside of that. Um, and yeah, that's like our private little goods. You know, if we want like a backup set of armor, we throw it in there. If we got some cool, I don't know, tools and stuff that we want to keep and make sure no one takes, we put them in there. Just stuff like that. Cool stuff. All right. So, what's next? What else do we need? I know what we need. I know what we need. We need those trophy mounts, man. We need those trophy mounts. So, I think we needed cementing paste. We have so much cementing paste. So, that's literally no issue at all. It's weird having this much cementing paste. I've never played on a server and had that much cementing paste at our disposal. Usually, you got to combine chitin and you got to combine... Uh, is chitin and like spark powder or something? No. Is chitin and something... But it's a real pain in the ass. So I'm glad we don't have to do that anymore. And let's get two trophy mounts. So I'm pretty sure what we can mount on them, if I'm correct, is like T-Rex T Rex stuff. I think all the stuff you get from killing like strong dinosaurs. I'm trying to think what else there is. An RG foot maybe? I actually don't know. I've never done it before. So it's going to be interesting. And I'm going to go one of them. No. Yeah, I was going to say one either side of the fireplace. But it kind of looks like the wood kind of like blocks it with the, the stone walls. So maybe we'll just go and plop it inside of that. And then we got to find out what we can do with this thing. So hmm, I'm trying to think where we would have kept the things that we can mount. Like an IG claw. Okay. I'll take one of those. Or both of them. Both of them apparently. Why not? Uh, we'll take an IG claw. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, so can I put an IG claw in this thing? I think that's what they're for. No? Then what are you mounting it? Oh, snap! So it turns out these things here are actually to mount things like when you kill the brood mother, you get a trophy. When you kill the Megapithecus, which is like the giant gorilla boss that they added, you get a trophy. The Dodo Rex gives you a trophy, and it looks like the Alpha Rex as well. So at some stage, we're going to have to look for an Alpha T-Rex. And then we can mount that in that trophy slot. Damn, that is cool. Okay, so did not know that, but that's good to know. Another thing that could be cool to mount is a war map. And I can't remember what you need to craft this, but we've got everything we need apparently. So let's go put a war map in our room as well. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We've got room. We've got plenty of space in there for stuff. It'd be really cool if we could get some rugs going, but unfortunately that's not a thing. So... The war map above our bed, maybe? A war map above our bed? Or maybe to the side here? Yeah, to the side right here. Let's do that. Um, yeah. Cool. So now we have a map of the world. Now, the cool thing about this is you can actually draw on it if you've got paint. We don't have any paint on us, like, right now. But, yeah, you can, like, mark stuff and where stuff is. So I think we got, like... As far as this world goes, we've definitely got us. We're kind of built around this little island down here. Over on this side, I think. Oh, here. This is where Choco is based. Um, and apart from, like, for the rest of the island, I don't really know if it's being used by anyone. So, it's kind of interesting. Um, at least right now, we've got plenty of more room to storage for storage. If we go to expand a little bit, we can do that. Um, as for other stuff, I think all I can really picture getting is possibly, a, like, another table and maybe a mortar and pestle on top of it. But apart from that, I think we're pretty well set. So... Um, what I do want to do... Oh! I got bad news. One of our Pteranodons died. M oh, what was his name? Mogar Kapatu Takutu. I can't remember his name. But he died. Under Lachlan's watch. <laughs> no surprises there. Um, so, I've actually been looking out for a replacement. Haven't found any, like, high-level ones just yet. But, um, definitely keep it in my eyes peeled for one of those. So, what else can we add to the base? The next sort of thing that we'll probably need to add is possibly a generator. 
which is one of these bad boys right here. So let's just go and learn it, because we're going to need it. And we'll learn the fridge as well. They're sort of like the two next things that we're going to need. Um, and we'll find out exactly what we need to craft those. They're not in here? What are we crafted in then? It's a fabricator. It's a fabricator craft. Oh, no. This isn't the fabricator. That's the fridge. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's the that's the, the cooking machine. Duh. All right. So, electric and here. So, 120 metal, 15 polymer, 10 electronics. We don't have what we need right now for that. But uh, we know exactly what we need for it. And we are going to need a generator, which is pretty cheap. 25 metal ingots and 10 electronics. I actually don't know what you need to craft electronics. But let's find out. Um, composites. Silica pearls and metal. Which we've got a shite load of silica pearls. So we can probably craft an electrical generator. The only thing I'm not sure about is where we should place it. I'd rather not put it inside of the base. I did have some suggestions of putting it underneath the base. I did show you guys that we had a lot of empty space down here. And I was kind of wondering... If we could create like a tiny little room down there and plop it in there. I'm not sure if it'll work, but um, I'm going to see if we've got any thatch ceilings. We've got, yep, we've got six thatch roofs. Do we have any... Oh, it's a sloped thatch roof. Do we have any, uh, like, thatch walls? It doesn't look like it. So, we can definitely craft some of them. Let me get like a little bit of wood. Let me get... A little bit of thatch and a little bit of fiber. And what we'll do is we'll see if we can box off a little section down there. And see if we can... Just see if we can get like a little bit of an underground room where we can put our electrical generator. And with that, obviously, we can then go and power a bunch of stuff in our base. It's going to be awesome. And I kind of just want to see if it works. So what I'm thinking is we have like a little bit of a hatch that drops down. Or we could even have... Hmm. We're going to like work this out. We can have a hatch with like a trap door. With like a, like a little ladder that goes down. That's an option. Or we could do something a little bit different. Like have a little bit. Just like a little a little slope drop down at some point. But I don't really know where we would put that. We could sort of put it here. Like it kind of just drops down underground. Like a sloped roof. And it would go under there. It's not a terrible idea. It's not a terrible idea at all. Alright, come over here Tracky McTrackface. That's not Tracky McTrackface. That's just Tracky. Come over here Tracky. Out of the way buddy. Alright, so, let me go and equip these things in my inventory. So, how does this thing, can we place it? We can sort of go down a little bit. We can do that. We might need to just tear up this pillar, though, but that's, that's no problem, that's no problem. Alright, let me go and, can I remove this thatch ceiling? And this one here. Okay, so I'm thinking of having... Either a trapdoor here, or like a sloped ceiling that comes down a little bit. But what we can do, in the meantime, is... Oh, we can't place this ceiling? Urgh, that might hurt us a little bit. Um, let's go nine. And I kind of want to just place a ceiling underground. Yeah, like that. So something like that. And then can we by any chance... We can't attach a ceiling to the bottom of that! That's disappointing. Hmm. We can place one there, though. And we can probably extend that out a little bit. And we can definitely get a little bit of a room going down here. What's flying around? That sounded like my... What's flying around right now? I heard something flapping wings. What's that? What's that? Whose is that? And where did that come from? What in the world? Where was that this whole time? Where the hell was that? I mean, was that parked on the roof the whole time and we didn't see it? No way. No way. There is no way that... Oh, God. 
Yeah, that wasn't ideal. <laughs> that, that is not ideal at all. Um, okay. I, I need to park him down. Because if, if we don't put him on the ground, there's a chance he might fly away. It's just what they do. So, uh, we're going jump back up on top of him. Okay, he's got no saddle. Oh, no, he's got no saddle. Um, okay. Well, just, just chill out. Just chill there for a second, Quitzel. Where did that... I, I don't know where that came from. Someone's obviously tamed that. I'm confused, man. All right, so back to our little... Uh, our little project down here. We can stand in here, can we? We probably just got to break these thatch ceilings, though. Let's just go and break the thatch ceilings. Can I break it? There we go. I'm really happy with the way our base is coming along. It's actually... It's probably the, be the fa my favorite thing I've ever built. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm willing to call that. It's probably the best thing i built. And we can run around down here, so that's nice. So, can we... Go and box this little bad boy in? I placed it the wrong way, but whatever. Okay, so we can get a little bit of a room going down here. And we could probably fix it up and build it out of stone walls, and that would be kind of cool. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is... We break this ceiling above me and instead have a ramp coming down. And what that would do is sort of give us a little bit of a passageway. Or the other option is we just have a trapdoor. Ramp or a trapdoor. It's a tough decision. Either way, either way, the ceiling's getting broken. Either way, that ceiling is getting broken. So I'm having a little look around and I can't find my pteranodon. Anywhere, like my second Tyranodon. I lost my first one. Well, I didn't. My first one was lost by one of our tribe members. But where is my second one? Turok Makto went missing. And now just Tyranodon has gone missing. But where to? What the hell? All my Tyranodons are disappearing. All right, stuff it. Let's just go and build this thing out of stone. I got a bunch of crap on me. Let's get rid of all of that. Okay, so... We are looking for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 stone walls, 6 stone ceilings, a trapdoor, and then the trapdoor hatch. Let's do this. So, we're going to be replacing all of these with a stone ceiling. It's going to be like a little bit of a trapdoor dungeon down here. There we go. Uh, what's next? The walls, of course. So, this is where it gets tricky. I'm actually going to go and break these thatch ceilings first. Because what happens is, the stone wall could attach to it, and then it'll just make all the placement weird and stuff. We want to make sure we get these facing the right way. So we get them on the first, on the first drop. The next one, and what I'm sort of worried about... They're not sticking out. Okay, they're good. They're good. It attached to the thatch ceiling. I knew it was going to happen at some stage. I knew it was going to happen at some stage. The, sat the thatch ceiling absolutely stopped that from taking place the way I wanted it to. But that's all good. So let's go and get rid of all of these walls. Let's go and get rid of these ceilings. Because we're not going to need them. They're just going to get in our way. Uh, there we go. And last but not least... There we go. Now. There we are. And another one here, please. Now they're sticking out. They're not good. Okay. And another one here. I just want to make it line up. Come on, line up, line up, line up. Line up, please. Good enough. Good enough. Don't care. And... That actually stuck out the ground a little bit. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Ah, oh, it's all good. That's all good. So, there's two walls. Hey, we can actually craft two right now. So, that's really good. Um, and I just realized we're probably going to box ourselves in in a second. Because we didn't bring what we need to craft ourselves a ladder to get out of here. There we go. All right. Which way is this facing? I don't, I don't know how these things work. I've never, I've never used... One of these before, but that looks pretty good to me. And which way does this face? Does it matter how I place it? Or is it always... It's always the same way. And it just falls down like that. And then how do we attach the ladder to that? Do we just... Do we just... 
Can you attach the ladder to, to that? Can you just do that? Like that? It's a bit of, a bit of a pain having to do that, but it works. It works. Why not? We'll go and close that up. There we go. And last but not least, we just got to replace this last one and final wall right here. And then we are pretty much done. Here we go. We created a little room down here. This is really nice. I like it. I like it. We're going to open the thatch up, the hatch up, climb the ladder, close the hatch, and we're good. That's awesome. I love it. So I guess, wow, I guess we should probably eat. We've actually got no food on us. Uh, Bruce, you're new. I don't know where you came from. You must be Vix. Um, who's got food for me? I know Trikey. Where's Trikey? Trikey's around here somewhere. Trikey's got some food. Or is it Trikey McTrikeface has got food? You've got food. Fantastic. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to need is the actual electrical generator itself. So I'm going to go... And that wasn't expensive. That was like a little bit of metal and a little bit of electronics, wasn't it? 25 metal ingots and 10 electronics. Electronics are simply... So it's about 35 metal and a bunch of silica pearls. So 100 silica pearls is enough. 35 metal... Where's the metal at? I guess that'll do. And then that should be all we need. That should be all we need. Uh, composites. Oh, snap. Yeah, we got, we got to put the stuff in here. Of course. Of course we do. Turn that on and craft 10 of these. Thank you. There we go. And then once those have crafted, all we need is the metal that we've already got. And we've got ourselves an electrical generator, which is pretty useless right now. Um, but once we go and get some electrical stuff like fridges, air conditioners, and I think that's really about all they can power. Um, and that can actually, you can actually code lock and stuff on your, uh, on your doors and stuff if that's what you want to do as well. Then we're going to have electrical powered everything. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be really, really cool. So let's go and jump down. Okay, it opens that way now apparently. Fair enough. That's okay then. Um, and I guess we'll just go and drop this. Oh god. I hope this isn't. Oh god. Um, now I'm a bit worried. Tell me this doesn't stick out above the ground. It does. It sticks out above the ground. Oh snap. That's ugly as. That's so ugly. You don't want that sticking out there. In front of the doorway. The only good spot you can place it. It's pretty much like right here. It's going to look weird. And kind of silly. But I think we're just going to place it right here. Yeah. It doesn't make much sense. But at least it means we don't have a silly piece of metal. Hanging out the ground inside our base. It's just going to be out here. And it looks like you can... Can you access it from out here or just demolish it? You can only demolish it from out here. But that's not the point. The thing is, we have, we have ourselves a power generator. And what you basically do is you go and throw gas into that. And it helps power a bunch of stuff in your base. It's going to be freaking awesome. But we have accomplished what we set out to today. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. But that is all for now. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.